video is on using these trig functions to find missing side lengths and also to find a missing angle. We're only going to use sine, cosine, and tangent when finding missing sides or angles. So the three trig functions we can use are sine, cosine, and tangent. I'm going to write SOKOTOA here because it will help us determine which trig function to use in a specific problem. Let's look at number one. Number one, we start at our angle, which is 55, and we are looking for the opposite side. So we know we're not using cosine, and we know we're not using, that's it. So it's either sine or tangent right now. Now to determine whether it's sine or tangent, we're also given this leg of the triangle right here, which is the adjacent. So we're opposite and adjacent, so we are going to use tangent. Now to solve, we're going to do the tangent of the angle is going to equal opposite over adjacent, x over 5. To solve this, you could either do two things. You can multiply both sides by the denominator, or I also like to make a proportion putting the tan 55 over 1 and doing some cross multiplication. So I'm going to cross multiply x times 1, and I'm going to cross multiply tan 55 times 5. x times 1 is x. Tan 55 times 5, about 7, let me get my pen, 7.14. So that would be what x is. Let's look at number 2. Number two, we are looking at our angle, which is 70, right here. And we're looking for the opposite again. But this time, the other side we're given is the hypotenuse. So that means we're going to use the sine. So sine of the angle 70 is going to equal opposite divided by hypotenuse, making a proportion with the other side, making a fraction. I'm going to cross multiply x times 1, and then sine 70 times 7. x times 1 is x, and then sine 70 times about 6.578. I like rounding to three decimal places. Okay, try number three on your own. Pause the video and see if you get the same answer that I do. I got 11.025. Here I used cosine because we were given the adjacent, or finding the adjacent, but given the hypotenuse. Number four will be the last one that we'll do for this set. Let's do this one together. It's a little bit different. So in this angle, from this angle, we are finding the hypotenuse. And we're also given the side adjacent. So we're going to use cosine. Cosine of the angle is going to equal adjacent a, which is 6, divided by the hypotenuse, which we are trying to find. Now I'm going to set a proportion up again and solve just like I did before. Cross multiplying 6 times 1, and then cosine 40 times x. This is a little bit different. You have one more step to do. 6 times 1 is 6, and that's going to be equal to cosine 40 times x. I'm going to leave that as x 
cosine 40. In order to isolate x and get x by itself, you're going to have to divide both sides by cosine 40. When you do that, you get x to be 7.833. All right, write what questions you have so far on solving for a missing side. Let's get to solving for a missing angle now. When solving for missing angle, you must use the inverse on the calculator. So I'll show you what the calculator is going to look like in a second, but let's first set up the example. Find the measure of angle A. I like outlining my angle using any trig function. So we can use sine, cosine, or tangent. Round to the nearest tenth. So let's just, for this, since we're given all the hypotenuse side, we're given the opposite side and the adjacent side, let's just use sine for this example. We could have used either. So sine, and if we don't know the angle, you can put x, or you could put theta. Either works. I'm just going to write x because I think we're all used to using x. And that's going to equal opposite over hypotenuse. So in the calculator, you're going to use a specific button that looks like sine inverse button. Uh, looks like a exponent of a negative 1. Let me show you what that looks like. Here I have my calculator on the left side. Before you continue solving this for the angle, go to mode. And in mode, make sure you are in degree mode. Press enter, and then we're going to quit out of that. So the key we need is right here above sine. It's the sine inverse button with the negative 1. You're going to press second, and then sine. And what you're going to type in the parentheses is whatever your fraction is on the other side of the equal sign. So that is 9 over 17. Close the parenthesis if you want. And here we get our angle. 31.9, let's say 66 degrees. And if you got a number like 0.5, that means you forgot to set the mode to degree mode. You, your answer probably was 0.5 radians. Okay, let's quit out of here and let's do another example. Look at number one on this example here. Here is our angle. We are given the adjacent and we're given the hypotenuse. So we must use cosine we don't know the angle, but we do know the ratio that it gives us. The ratio is adjacent over hypotenuse. Going to our calculator, we can do press second cosine of our ratio. And we get the angle to be 63.612 degrees. Pause the video and try to do the last one, number three. See what you get and then check back with me. Here I used tangent because I was given opposite and adjacent. And pressing the inverse tan button of four over five, you get your answer to be about 38.660 degrees. Right now, what questions do you have? And have a great night.